<laughs> now that we're unanimous in approval, let's get on with the other business. Mm, Stephen should be here now. He should be, and he is. Morning, gentlemen. Oh, oh. Hello, Hello, Stephen. Hello. Now, gentlemen, let us get down to the real object of this meeting. I have just made an investment, the greatest coup in the gem market, and it only costs two hundred thousand dollars. The Jarvis Diamond. The Jarvis Diamond. Why, this is not a coup. It's a disaster. One moment, gentlemen. You're letting death and destruction behind that diamond is not imagination. Davis, I'm not superstitious, but I'd suggest that we get rid of that stone before we too feel it's cursed. Nonsense. How can a piece of glass bring anybody hard luck? Besides, Davis has a plan for getting rid of it at a substantial profit. Exactly. I intend to have the diamond hold. Its reputation will not be known. That's fine. That's a good idea. Now you talk. But for the very objections that you bring up, the cutting must be with the utmost secrecy. Ed, do you remember Peter Lanning? Of course. He was one of the finest diamond cutters in the world. No, but he retired years ago. I've already been in touch with him. He's been ill and is recuperating in the little town of San Juan. I think I can get him to cut the stone for him. Oh, that'll be fine. Ah, that's good. Maybe that'll break the curse, too. Then I take it you gentlemen are satisfied to leave the matter entirely in my hands. It's all right. Certainly. I suppose so. How about you, Stephen? Certainly. Why not? Or... Now, Stevens, do you mind telling me just why you require my particular talent? First, let me ask you. Would $5,000 increase your blood pressure? Not a degree. I made more than that just yesterday. 10,000. Extortion. I call it psychology. If you're willing to jump from five grand to 10 grand as fast as that, it must be mighty important. 15. It's a deal. Now, what do I do and where do I do it? The Jarvis diamond is going to be cut up into smaller stones. I want them. Mm. And dabbling in the market again? Well, diamonds. Awfully hot stuff to dispose of. Think about that. All you have to do is put them in my lecture 15,000. 15 grand, Stevens. I'll set the Golden Gate Bridge right in your lap. The stone will be sent to the cutter in a few days. I'll let you know just before it leaves. Who's handling the job? A man named Peter Lanning. Lives in San Juan. San Juan, huh? What kind of a burg is this Santa Juan anyway, Professor? And I want these girls to know about I get you. Oh! You're the clumsy... Don't know yet. It's the only thing I haven't figured out. Telegram for John Henry Morgan? Okay, I'll find it. Where are you glued there? Oh, you want a tip. Here's a tip, kid. Get all tough luck in the third race spot. Well, go on, get going. Thanks very much. Get going. <laughs> You asked for it, now leave the kid alone. Pretty good one too, kid. Where'd you learn it? Oh, I fight a little bit now and then. Can't afford to quit my job and take it up serious. I think you've got something there. Don't give it up. It's for you, boss. This is for the fight fund. Well, thanks. Thanks very much. Good night. Good night. Everything all the same? Everything but your jaw. Oh, I don't kid. Al, come here, shorty. Don't let that messenger boy get away. Dave, you girls catch yourself a drink. 
Oh, honey. Go on, move. Sit down here, boy. This is the message that we've been waiting for. Al, you're taking the boys to San Juan tomorrow. I'll follow. When we get there, we don't know each other. Say, I never forget it, pal. You'd better this time. It'll sure feel good to get in action again. But you still haven't told us what we're supposed to be doing there. I didn't know myself until a minute ago. That messenger boy gave me an excellent idea. We're going to train him for a fight. The battling messenger boy. Exactly. We're going to back him and train him for the ring. But don't let him get wise that it's just a stall. Say, where do we put up in this uh, San Juan? I'll tell Al all about it. The rest of you will take orders from him. I'm getting awful tired. So am I. Let's quit. Sure, tomorrow's another day. How about a poker game, boys? Now you're talking. All right, kid, get in. You can finish training down at the gym. Yeah, but listen, I'm just getting warmed up. Get in here. Hey, listen, wait. Oh. Hey, listen, you guys, I want to train. All right, Junior, I'll buy you a little electric one. <laughs> what are you, a smart guy? Listen, oh, wait. <laughs> Dad, sorry to disturb you. No trouble, Dorothy. The cook's busy and only he's upstairs someplace. Who's that? The new man. He's out at the barn, I think. Another one of those trainers of Kid Harris? No, my dear. He's a writer, I believe. Oh, that's a relief. Did you give him the room? No, I told him to have to see you. That you ran this place. Did you also tell him that I ran you too? No. I thought he'd find that out soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lanning? Yes. I spoke to your father about a room. So he told me. I have one upstairs, the left front room, which I think you'll find nice and quiet. That's just what I need. I'm down here to do a little research work on the life of Joaquin Murrieta. I'm a bit sensitive to noise when I'm writing. Naturally. If you wait just a moment, I'll show you your room. Oh, no, don't bother. I can find it. The left front, you said? Yes. Thank you. Oh, here's your bag. How do you do? Uh, are there any vacancies here? I believe so. Won't you come in? Thank you. Uh, my name is Carter, Jerry Carter. Uh, are you the manager here? <laughs> well, there really isn't any. Things just sort of run along by themselves. <laughs> well, that's what I'd call perfect management. It makes it quite certain that I've come to the house for lodgings. I think we can find you a room. <laughs> Will you be staying long? Well, uh, quite possibly. I thought this would be a good place to gather some material on the life of Joaquin Murrieta. Why, that's a coincidence. Another writer came in this afternoon. Is that so? He's working on the same subject. Murrieta? Yes. You two will probably enjoy getting together and comparing notes and things. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, of course. Just one for you, Dad. Oh, thank you, dear. Well, I suppose you'd like to see your room. Oh, yes. This way, please. How do you do, Miss Wallace? Oh, I'm so glad to meet you, Mr. Carter. Thank you. 
My, this place is getting more interesting every day. You know, I was just saying to my niece, Yvonne... If you'll excuse us, Mrs. Wallace, I must show Mr. Carter the room. Oh, I'm so glad you're going to be with us. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Wallace. Yes. Oh, Yvonne, we have a new guest. Really? Yes, he has the room right across the hall oh. from us. He's the best-looking thing. Oh, I'm going to see. Yvonne, you come here. Do you like it? Do you think it'll be quiet enough? Oh, yes, yes. Suits me perfectly. I'll have only take that stuff out in a few minutes. Oh, there's no hurry about that, Miss Lanning. It makes me feel right at home. Don't hesitate to let me know if you need anything. Thanks. I won't. It's only me. Oh, come in, come in. Oh, uh, there's no hurry in getting those out of here. Oh, thank you, thank you. If uh, you want anything, you just slack me now, please. <laughs> I guess they kind of keep you on the go around here, don't they? Oh, yeah, upstairs, downstairs, forth and back. They was always something. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, uh, are there many people that stay here? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's the boss. She, Miss Dorothy. Oh, she fine girl. Oh, yeah, yes, she is. Yeah, and there's her father. My, but you're graceful. Graceful? Hey, what do you think this is, lady? A ballroom? My name's Yvonne. Yeah, I know. I never saw a prize fight before. No? I didn't know it was anything like a rope giving contest. Sure. All you have to do is be the rope skipping champion of the world. What's the matter? Why, but you have pretty muscles. Pretty? Yeah. Look, lady, do you want to help me train? Sure. All right, come here. Now, look, this, this is a very important fact in my training. In fact, it may make me the featherweight champion of the world. Really? Yeah, now look. See, look, this, this is the end of the rope. Yes, I know. Now, I want you to hold that and hold it very, very tight. All right. See, now, are right, you ready? Yes. No, don't look at me. You, you look right up there at the, at the end of the rope. Now, you watch that very, very carefully. All right. Now, you're all set, huh? Yeah. All right, one, two, three, go. Thank you very much. Now, don't let go. It's sure nice of you to let me help you. And this uh, writer you were telling me about, Mr. Moreland, what's he like? Oh, a fine fella. And smart, awful smart. Holy yumpin' yiminy, I got to go. What's that, a fire? No, that's Miss Doherty. She calling me. I better hurry. <laughs> I feel so silly holding this. Can I let go now? My arms are getting tired. It's you. Yeah, it's me. Did I hurt you? Yes, you did. That's good. What do you mean that's good? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> Why, uh... uh... Oh, Mr. Carter, I thought you two should get acquainted since you're both bringing Joaquin Marietta back to life. Mr. Carter, Mr. Moreland. How do you, How do, you do, Mr. Do? Moreland? Uh, so, so you're, you're writing, writing a... a... <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how are you getting along? Oh, fine. Uh, how are you getting along? All right. <laughs> well, of course, I'm just getting into my subject, but... Uh, I find it very interesting. Yes. Uh, how about you? Uh, I'm in exactly the same boat. A sort of uh, feeling my way. It takes time, you know. <laughs> yes, it, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> but uh, let's not talk shop. No, that's just what I was thinking. <laughs> we, uh, we might mislead each other. <laughs> right. Well, uh, it's uh, just about time for my walk. Oh, nice day for a walk. Yes, it is a nice day, isn't it? So if uh, you will excuse me, Mr. Moreland? Oh, certainly. I'll uh, see you later. Yes, of course.
Have you any books on Joaquin Murrieta? I'm sorry, that gentleman over there has them all. Thank you. Very colorful. And a very fascinating subject. Uh, yes, uh, I suppose so. Aren't you interested in diamonds? No, not particularly. Are you? They've played a very important history. Sometimes a very dangerous part. And what I came over to ask was if I might borrow one of these books on Joaquin Murrieta. Well, certainly, help yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Murrieta. If that guy Carter knows anything about Murrieta, I'll buy that library and give it a chuck for a birthday present. Who, me? I've already got a book. Yeah, and maybe someday you'll learn to read it. Hey, Professor. Moreland's the name. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You suppose that guy could be after the diamond the same as we are? We'll have to keep our eyes on him. If he's trying to muscle in on our game, he'll soon run out of muscle. Then get on out there now and look after the kid. Better not come back here again. We can't take any chances. Come on, come on. Put a little pep into that. You're dying on your feet. Oh, uh, what's the difference? I don't see we'd be having any fights coming up anyhow. Well, you ain't in condition yet. Oh, no? No, you couldn't even flatten a marshmallow in your condition. Al said so and he knows. Yeah, well, I still think I can do pretty good with you. Oh, go on. Well, I... Hey, Doc, both of you. Now, you get this, kid. When I do match you, it ain't gonna be with any ham and egg or it's gotta be a top spot. Now, get going. Okay, Al, I'm sorry. You better keep your trap closed, Chuck. Well, what did I do? Nothing, nothing. Just lay off the kid. You spoil this deal and you'll never have a chance to spoil anything else. All right, Al, but I'm kind of getting nervous hanging around here waiting for that. Huh? Listen, looks like we'll be over any time now. How do you know? Self and stern? Looks that way. The boss wants us to meet him tonight. Where? We're opening a new roadhouse here, the Murrieta Inn. He wants us to meet him there. I saw that spot the other day. Say, it's about time something was happening. What's that you're drawing, Al? Oh, I was trying to figure out how old man Lanning's going to crack up that diamond. Yeah, that must be a pretty risky business. Risky? Huh, if that guy misses by a fraction of an inch, he'll wreck the whole works. This is a pleasure, Miss Lanning. Out gathering inspiration? As a matter of fact, inspiration just walked into me. Oh, do you recognize it? Oh, my dear lady, do we have to be introduced all over again? After a charming reply like that, I feel I must show you something which may be of real value to you in your writings concerning Joaquin Murrieta. Thank you. Right over there where that barn stands, Joaquin once hid in an old well. Mm, how interesting. Do you mind showing me? Not at all. Come along. Hello. What a man. Look, would you like to go for a nice long walk? Oh, do you want to go for a walk? No, uh, I don't want to go, but I thought maybe you would. Oh, I don't like to walk by myself other than that silly rope skipping. By the way, did you ever get that rope fixed? Look, you shouldn't hang around here. This is no place for children. I mean, you... children? Well, all right, a woman's place is in the home. Is that why you left me standing here the other day? No, I left you standing here the other day because I thought it would teach you to stay away from here. 
Well, if that's the way you feel about me... You're not leaving, are you? D don't you want me to go? Well, sure, but I want you to go, but I just wanted to make sure when you were going to leave. He's not so tough, only loud. How about it, kid? Oh! Oh! Oh, are you hurt? <laughs> Get out of the way. Why, you big buck? <laughs> oh, let me see that poor eye. Never mind my poor eye, will you? <laughs> Please, oh, let me look. A smart guy, huh? <laughs> What'd well, you have to come in here for it, Cal? No, you were gonna get in trouble. Well, you <laughs> That's so. Right here, they claim Murrieta was wounded the second time he tried to get into the well. That's very interesting. What's that? Stop him, please! Hey, lay off that kid! Who do you think you are? Oh, they oh, hey, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Don't get excited. Nobody's mad. I'm glad to hear that. I was just wondering whether you were here to train the kid or to kill him. Big Mug looked like he was trying to choke him to death. Who, him? <laughs> Why, he wouldn't hurt the kid for anything in the world. Would you, Chuck? Who, me? No, I'm just crazy about him. Swell fella. I I'm so sorry. I, I guess it was all my fault. O only I didn't think it would turn out so... so violent. Hey, are you all right? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to faint. Oh. Ah! Oh. Hey, what's the Hey, hey, get a doctor, somebody. Don't stand there. Do something. Why don't you do something? I don't know what to do. Maybe I can help. Uh, they say cold water's awfully good for fainting spells. Oh, is it? Well... Hey, wait. As one woman to another, that's fine cooperation. <laughs> well, what's eating her? <laughs> Let's call you a little fresh air, kid. Hey, you know, I think that was a frame up. <laughs> I'll drop in any time. Thanks. It's just a little game we were in. Oh, I see. Uh, you play a lot of little games, don't you? Thanks for the help, pal. I sure needed it. You seem to be doing pretty good. Hey, you know, these guys don't seem to care whether I get into condition or not. I'm getting pretty fed up with the whole thing. I want to ask you something. Tell me, is Al the boss? Well, I, I thought he was, but he said something about meeting the boss tonight. Yeah? Where, here? No, uh, up at the Muriet Inn. It's, it's a new joint that's opening up the line. Oh. Say, girls. I'll keep you waiting, but I just got a great idea. What do you say we all go someplace tonight? There's a new roadhouse opening up near here. Would you like to go? Oh, come now. Surely the landing house can do without its charming hostess for one evening. Yvonne, would you like to go? Gee, yeah. Would you? <laughs> for me? No, no. I, I gotta stay here and train. Are you? Come on. Don't be no meanie. Let me alone. How about you? <laughs> say, hey, I started this. You girls be ready in an hour? I'm ready right now. <laughs> I have responsibilities. Make it an hour and a half. Sold to the lady at my right for an hour and a half. All right. Come along, Yvonne. See you later. 
see you later. I thought you said you had an idea. <laughs> uh. Come on, Lee. Aren't you going to dance? Nah. Oh, come on, Lee. Let's dance. I don't want to dance. Well, what did we come here for? That's what I'd like to know. Say, my aunt doesn't let me go out like this often. I thought we were going to have a swell time. You call dancing a swell time? Of course. Oh, come on. Let's dance. No. Come on. Hey, cut it out. Oh, you got come on. Looking at oh, well, come oh, on. All right, I'll do this. All right. <laughs> So it's you. Yes, me. Why lay off that stuff? Pardon us? Please, can't you pick up your feet a little bit? Well, that's what I am doing. Well, try keeping the mama slower. Nice. <laughs> well, good evening, gentlemen. Hello. Uh, good evening, Mr. Marlin. Won't you join us? Thanks. I believe I will. Has the diamond arrived yet? I got word from Stevens. It should be here the first thing tomorrow morning. Great. Then we can grab it off and get away from here. Not so fast. You mean we're going to have to stick around here longer? What are you squawking about? You're getting paid for it, aren't you? The deal I made was to get the stuff as soon as the diamond had been cut up. That's the way it's going to be. Hey, Jerry. Come here. Look who just joined our little playmates over there. Hey. They said they were going to meet the boss. I wonder if this guy... I'll be right back. Where are you going? I'm going out and peel a fish. Really? Oh, the kid's looking very promising, Mr. Moreland. Oh, hi, Lee. Say, who says for you? Nobody sent for me. Hey, listen, I'm getting tired of being pushed around and shoved aside. Who's the boss of this outfit, anyway? What do you mean, boss? You heard me. Hey, are you mixed up in this? Are you speaking to me, my boy? Listen, you. I took you on and I'm handling you, and I'll do as I please with you. Now, don't get fresh with Mr. Moreland. Well, why? I'm afraid there's a little misunderstanding here. Now, these gentlemen were just telling me how interested they are in you. And what a grand future they planned for you. Yeah, it must be swell. I haven't even got a sparring partner. A sparring partner? I think the boy's right. Where are we going to get a sparring partner around here? Well, that shouldn't be difficult. Will you excuse me a minute? Good evening, Mr. Moreland. Do you find that this uh, nightlife helps you with your book on Murrieta? Does dancing help yours? No, my visit here is purely social. Mine was prompted by curiosity. Fortunately, I ran into some congenial friends. Uh, friends? I thought they were just mere acquaintances. Hey, listen, I've known the professor hey, ever uh, since. give me a light. Uh, professor? Oh, uh, just a nickname. Lots of writers are called professor. They'll probably be calling you that next. <laughs> yes. Have a drink? Uh, no, thanks. Just stop by to say hello. We've already left the girls too long. Hey, listen, don't forget that sparring partner. No, I won't. Did you know this fellow Moreland before you came here? No. But there's another guy in that bunch I've never seen. A fellow named Morgan. That's how I met him while I was delivering a telegram to him. Morgan, huh? Sounds sort of like Moreland, doesn't it? Morgan. Professor. Hey, I never... I think he's a phony. I'm gonna go... Shut out. up. Another break like that last one. You'll be going home without seeing the scenery. I just said I was gonna go get a drink. I'll join you all a little later. There's something I want to find out. Can I go with you? No, you stay here with the girls. How about a drink on me, old man? No. How about a pink lady? What is she? A blonde or brunette? 
Never mind, skip it. I'll take mine straight. Get over there quick, before Chuck starts shooting off his mouth again. I was just about to buy our friend a drink. Uh, how about you boys? Thanks. We can buy our own drinks. All right, have it your way. I just wanted to be friendly, that's all. Can I get you something, sir? Oh, no. No, thanks. I'm just leaving. Yes, sir. Say, that little messenger boy's getting to be quite a problem. Yeah, now we gotta dig up a sparring partner for him. Yeah, and who can we get? Barn partner? Say, I'm the best man you could possibly get, partner. Shut up and sit down. No, I'll show you. You want to fight? Keep your mouth shut before Wait I... Wait a minute. You. you want a job as a sparring partner? That's what I said. You see that fellow sitting over there? The one that was just over here? That's the fella. Well, if you can whip him, the job's yours. Yeah? Well, you just watch me. I'll get him with one hand. Watch. Well, that ought to start something. Yeah, that ought to take care of our palsy wowsy Those guys will ever get me a fight? Oh, sure, kid. Hey, how'd you like me to take you to the cleaners? What? I'm gonna make it legal. I'm gonna sock you. Oh, go away. Go away. Look out! This guy is crazy. Oh, John. What's the matter with me? Oh, oh, hey, what's out. the idea? Yeah. Hey, get off of me. Oh! <laughs> 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 Thank you. Oh, it's for my father, Roy. I'll give it to him. Oh, thank you. Shoes, my dear. Something far more interesting. What is it? Oh, curiosity killed the cat. This is it, Dorothy. What is it, Daddy? The Jarvis diamond. Just pick up it. That? Oh, that looks like a big lump of glass. Now, perhaps, unto the untrained eye, but wait, Dorothy. It's marvelous. Ah, priceless. Yes, I know, but I can't imagine them sending it here in an old shoebox. Why, the package wasn't even insured. Exactly. So it's here, safer and more quietly than if it had arrived with an escort of armed guards. You lose something, mister? Oh, yes. Yes. I took that letter. 
Oh, oh, here it is. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes, very nice. <coughs> oh, here are the reports of several experts. Hans Gulden, he's a master craftsman. Jacob Carr, he's mighty good too. Mm -hmm. These will save a lot of time. Hire a Some guy hit me with a table down that roadhouse last night and nearly broke my back. Look what a bottle done to my head. Oh. Oh. What's the matter, Chuck? Still suffering from last night? Uh. Oh, don't do that. Ah, uh -uh. You're getting soft, Chuck. You're getting soft. Hey, next time you want to start something, you better pick a place where they don't like fighting so well. So have you seen Jerry? But why? For something I want to find out. What do you want to find out? Uh, nothing. Well, then, what'd you ask me for? Ask you what? What? Why, what you just asked me? I didn't ask you anything. Why, you did, too. What'd oh. you say? Oh, you mean just when I said just now? Yes. I was running with you up the second floor of the same room down around the, the room there with the key. What? You can't bounce a meatball. Why not? Because... Oh, sit down, will you? Let me alone. Oh. Well, good evening, everybody. Oh, here he is. What, somebody want to see me? He does. What do you want, Lee? Oh, uh, nothing, uh, nothing special. I... Where you been? I've been looking for you. Out for a walk? Want anything special? No, uh... I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. Well, I guess I better go up and clean up a bit. See you all later. Is that all you wanted to say to Jerry? Just hello? Yvonne. Yeah? What do you think of Jerry? Well, I think he's darling. Oh, no, I don't mean that. Well, what do you mean? I mean, what kind of a guy do you think he is? Do you really think he's a writer? Why, of course. What else could he be? That's what I'd like to know. He seems kind of, well, kind of mysterious to me. Ah, oh, you've been reading too many detective stories. Maybe you're right. Say, what did you say about those meatballs? Nothing. Only you can't bounce them. Why not? Well, because... Uh, What'd you say? Oh, you never listen to me. I can talk my head off and... I'll say again. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me.
Come in. You busy? No, just cleaning some of the mud off my shoes. Come in. Take yourself at home. What's on your mind, Lee? Oh, nothing. Hey, listen, what were you doing playing Peep and Tom outside Mr. Lanning's window? So you recognize me? You're darn tootin'. I was just checking up on Mr. Lanning. Oh, just checking up, huh? You know, they put guy in jail for that kind of checking up. Wait a minute, kid. I guess I'll have to let you in on something. But you've got to keep it in strict confidence. Have I your word? Sure, only I don't see what right that gives you. Mr. Lanning has in his possession the Jarvis Diamond. Ever hear of it? It's worth over a quarter of a million dollars. I've heard of that. Gosh, I don't blame you for wanting to kipe it. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong. I wasn't trying to steal the diamond. Well, then what were you doing peeking in the guy's window? You? Yes. Well, well, gee, I, I'm sorry. Why'd you tell a guy you were a flatfoot? Well, 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 in cases like this, one usually doesn't go around telling everybody his business. Oh. Everything okay now? Well, sure. Listen, if I can ever help you, you just let me... I think I'd make a swell detective. Thanks. And I may have to call on you. Gee, that'd be keen. Shall we get downstairs now? Okay, partner. Good. Dad, you must get some rest. You've been at this night and day. Oh, it won't be much longer. But your health is more important than all the diamonds in the world. You'll just have to... See? I'm ready for the cutting. I'm going to wire Mr. Davis tonight. But, Daddy, dear, you look so tired. Oh, now, don't you worry about me. I'll be all right. <laughs> well, Professor, I see you received my message all right. I'm here, aren't I? What's up? Anything new? Lanning wired Davis last night, giving his estimate of loss and the possible value of the cuts and so forth. And he... How much is the... Why do you ask? Just curious. 300,000. Davis wired his acceptance, and Lanning is going to start cutting immediately. And as soon as he's finished, I'm to get the diamonds? Right. 300,000. Stevens, I think we better make a new deal. You already have a deal for 15,000. Do you think that's quite fair, considering? Consider that I'm taking all the risk, and you're getting all the gravy. It was your bargain, wasn't it? Okay, Stevens, we'll let it go at that. Now you're talking sense. We'd better get started immediately. Let me start first. I want to get back and keep my eye on things. I think you're right. Give me five minutes starting. run away with you. Maybe, but I'll be glad when you've sent it back. In peace. Here, look how well I'm getting along. Dad, you're letting this junk take too much out of you. Oh, nonsense. I enjoy it. Will you have some lunch today? No. Just tea. <laughs> oh, pipe down. I want to get some sleep. 
Say, why don't you cut out that road work? The rest will do you good. Yeah, well, the exercise will do you good. I'll break your neck for that. Oh, yeah? Here, here, here. What is all this? Oh, nothing. I'm just trying to get this guy to give me a workout. And he doesn't want to? No. I should think you'd want to keep your protege in training. Well, he's only fooling work with kid. Well, sure. Come on, ambitious. Thanks very much. Am I finally going to get a workout? Yeah, you're really going to get a workout. It's about time. Now, this is the tea, yeah. and this is the hot water. Mm -hmm. And don't you forget about... Father don't like this. He ain't so smart, so I think he is. No, he'll be hungry enough. He hasn't had a dry food all day. Are the potatoes ready now? Oh, already, ma'am. Oh, that's fine. Where did you get that? Well, I was hungry. Did I ever see you when you wasn't? Get back up there and do the dishes. Go on, you. for a walk. No, he wouldn't go out and take the diamonds with them. They're gone, too. Diamonds? What diamonds? Well, you see, Dad had a secret commission lately. A very valuable diamond was sent to him to be cut up into smaller stones. And the stone he cut up is the Jarvis diamond. The Jarvis diamond? I just know something's happened to him. I was afraid when he took it. Don't worry, we'll find him. Come on, we'll search every room. Yeah, yeah we'll find him. Right. Hey, what are you doing in here? Why, I came to get the tea things. He won't need them now. How do you know? Who do you think you're talking to, young man? What are you doing here? Well, I come looking for Mr. Landon. Well, so did I. What shall I do with this? Oh, just put it down there. I'll take care of it. I'm sorry you told everyone about those diamonds. Why? It won't help your father wherever he is. That might hurt. There's a streak of larceny in most of us, you know. Why do you think that? It's my business, for one thing. I was sent here by the insurance company to protect those diamonds. Oh, 
so that's all you're worrying about. Well, I wouldn't care if those diamonds never showed up as long as I knew that Dad was safe. Dorothy, dear, I'm going to search every foot of this lower floor myself. I'll find him. You'll see. Oh, poor Dorothy. I feel so sorry for her. She's terribly upset. Well, and maybe a bit of tea will perk her up a bit. Oh, I could use a little of that myself. Say, look at that. Why, that bag of tea hasn't discolored that water one bit. Well, let me see that. Oh, for goodness. <laughs> what is it? Oh, my land. Where'd Dorothy go? I don't know. I haven't seen her. Oh, for heaven's sake. Well, I've got to find her. I found the diamonds. Auntie, really? Mm -hmm. Did they find Mr. Lanning? No, not yet. Oh, I've got to get rid of these horrid things. Oh, I can't do that. First thing you know, I'll be disappearing too. Oh. Now, you stay right here and keep your eye on them. I'll find Dorothy. Yes, Auntie. Kid. Oh. Hello. Oh, oh, don't. Don't what? Oh. Uh, mm. Oh, nothing. All right, I won't. But we haven't read it yet. Well, I'll bring it back. I just want to run through the front. Trace of them outside. Just, Just the one. one. One what? That man Chuck took our newspaper up in his room. Would you get it for us? Well, sure, I'll get it for you. And don't open it. Bring it just as it is. Why? Now, don't ask a lot of silly questions. Well, get the paper. It's very important. Say, has the sparkler shown up yet? No. You know, Chuck, I wonder if the professor could be pulling a fast one on us. Well, I wouldn't put it by him. Well, we'll soon find out. Come on. What do you want? Well, uh, nothing. I just want to get the newspaper. The diamonds. Boys, we're all set. I've got them. Dave, warm up the car. Okay, Chief. Get your things together and park the car right there in the driveway. Get going. Oh, there he is, Jerry. Oh, Lee, Lee, are you all right? What happened, Lee? Oh. Oh, did I hurt you? Oh. Oh, I did. I, I'm so sorry. Oh. Hey, that isn't me. What? Oh. Listen. Oh. Hey, Jerry, look. It's Mr. Lanny. It was Mr. Moreland. I remember now. It was Moreland. He clipped me on the chin and then he took the diamonds. Stop him. 
before he gets away. Come on, kid, let's get him. Listen, you stay here and take care of him. All right. Just a moment, Professor. I'll take those. Get him, Lee. Gary, look out! Here he goes! I think that Jerry took a runout powder on you. I don't think he's ever coming back. Would you like to bet? <laughs> no, but, you know, since he caught those crooks and had them put in jail, and, you know, he saved the diamond, well, he's turned out to be nothing but a great... Smile when you say that. Hi, Jerry. Jerry! Well, what do you think about that? Well, he's a better detective than I thought he was. You're so cute. 